Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to Fizzy Good Smell Nice, my new fragrance channel for all things scent. And here we have today for our first review, the lovely Pure Musk by Narciso Rodriguez. It was by the nose Sonia Constant and it was released last year. So it's not completely new, but that just means I've been wearing it for longer. <laughs> so first things first, let's give it a smell. Of course, I've smelt it before, but it's always nice to have a fresh spray. Mm. You know what I find quite unique about this perfume is that unlike a lot of traditional perfumes, it doesn't have a lot of top notes or ornamentation. It's quite refined, it's elegant. In fact, I would describe it almost a bit like the bottle, like a black and white drawing or something in charcoal, if you will. Because of that, um, it's quite very flexible you can wear it with a lot of things in fact if I would describe it as a piece of clothing it would something like a scarf or a jumper that you can wear pretty much every day you know your favorite kind of your shirt that just works with everything you know I know every dude has got a shirt that they wear all the time at least so yeah I would say it's a perfume that is refined and simple in its elegance which uh, brings me to my next point what do you do with it or what can you wear it with well apart from the obvious you know everyday usage that you could expect from a product like this I found something also quite useful is that say if you have a fragrance that is quite heavy on the top notes or maybe a summer cologne that you like to wear during the warmer months but doesn't have enough oomph or warmth for the colder ones then what you can do is you can layer this fragrance because it's quite a simple heart and base note kind of fragrance. It really works well with layering and bringing complexity to your other perfumes. So that's an alternate use that I found quite useful over this last year. So who would I recommend this to? Well, I would recommend it to, of course, the first thing is that you have to go smell it. But if you like it, I would recommend it to anyone who wants to have uh, a simple accessory to kind of that will work with your whole fragrance wardrobe, so to speak. Now, before we end our first little review here, I've got here, just because I want to make the channel a little bit more fun, more interactive, I've got here a few questions that I went on Instagram yesterday to uh, ask a few guys. And uh, we're gonna, depending on how we go, we'll, uh, we'll answer a few questions, or just one, <laughs> just depending. The first question for this review is, if this perfume were to be paired with rap music, which raps would that be? That's an interesting question. And you know, it brings up a good point. You know, the interesting or the cool, one of the cool things about perfume, it's a bit like wine. You can pair it with things, but unlike wine, it doesn't just have to be paired with food. You can pair it with music, with um, movies, with clothes, with whatever, whatever you want, you know. It's fun. Enjoy it. So, coming back to the question, what wraps would I pair this perfume with? Well... You know, as I was saying before, this is quite a simple and quite a refined perfume. It's not something that tries and grabs your attention. It's something that kind of slowly draws it in. And so, while not a particular rapper comes to mind, there is a Japanese hip-hop producer by the name of Nujabez, um, who I think in the same way represents that kind of refined simplicity that this perfume represents. So, I'll leave a link to it to the in the description below so yeah that's my answer and that's what I'm sticking with <laughs> and I think we'll leave it with one question for today seeing as it's the first but if you do have any more you know just interesting comments or questions or things you'd like to be answered burning desires add them into the comments below and yeah hope to hear from you all soon thanks for watching <laughs>